rematch of Texas, Florida, Florida down Texas on their home court back in September. So that'll be a good one. The Gators won in five sets. Kansas first time making it to the regional final. Nebraska comes out of the break in timeout. And puts a point on the board. Monica Albright. Sophomore out of Aurora, Illinois. So up 2 nothing quickly here in the second set for Nebraska. And Coach Keegan Cook for Washington also quick to make a change as we are going to see Destiny July back on the court. The run continues. Katie Rolfson. Rolfson just moments ago had the nice drop-in angle shot from left front. And now here from right front, another really smart swing as she just goes high and hard, finds that hole in the middle. We saw that one hang up there from right, Bailey Taylor. Even the Tanner, a little quicker set to Melanie Wade. She takes care of business. And just when Washington needs a little shot in the arm, so often it seems like the answer is Melanie Wade. She comes through in those moments. of the freshman. You know, she's played an interesting role on this Nebraska team and that her teammates say she brings a lot of passion to what can be kind of a reserved group of girls. And as a freshman, I think it's very difficult to do that. You're the newcomer and maybe you feel like that's not your role. But she just naturally celebrates those points and plays with fire that the Nebraska team is able to feed off. Well, well, she was lauded coming out of high school, a highly talented recruit who had a lot of ability. She played middle blogger most of her career, but you know what John Cook really liked about her was the fact that she could play multiple multiple positions because she was just that talented. A good dig and save there from Becky number two in white. Montez over to the kills leader for the Huskers. She's got another. In Katie Walson. That's an elite level swing off of Wong Arantes, who's able to set her a ball at a left back, and it looks like an in system play. Wong Arantes is just really an elite level libero. She is the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year at one point this year. She was the ESPNW Player of the Week. She had a career high 30 digs earlier this year against Penn State. Those are just monster numbers. Also a standout volleyball player as Sabeldon ends that 6-0 run. But junior out of Cypress, California. Holding it down in the back row for the Huskers. That was Annika Albright out of the back row for Nebraska. She's a back row specialist this year. That's how she swings. When you've got defenders <laughs> who are able to swing like that, it says a little bit of something about the arms on this Nebraska squad. Yeah, on the dig, on the contest, and it works again. Kelly Hunter continuing to go back to the well. Kelly Hunter is just having fun. She is enjoying every moment of this. You see as it goes over, she just crouches down. Huge celebration. The fans here love it. And she's a straight-up seven. She's got seven kills tonight. Her mom, Lori Melcher, was a Husky setter in the late 70s. Her sister played at Mizzou and also a member of the U.S. Women's National Team at one point. has Amber Lawson. That's what her coach said. She's gotten even better. Fourth in the nation in blocks per set for the junior. Amber Rolfson had something interesting to say about Coach Cook and how he's brought out the best in her. We just saw a little of it right there. High of nine kills. She keeps it up. 
think she'll hit that number tonight. There's just something different I'm sensing from this Nebraska squad here in this sport. So do you, do you sense that they're just tightening everything up, they've made their adjustments, and now they're hunkering down? Yeah, I think it goes back to the words you use coming into this match. Fundamentally clean volleyball. And right now, Nebraska is looking up to that. That one goes long, so Washington splits the lead in half as Cassie Strickland on the serve. It's just so, it's just so tough, man. <laughs> We've had coaches tell us they they cannot find someone in their gym to imitate this serve in order to prepare their players for it. But they don't have anybody who can hit it that hard. It just comes at you so fast. Three service aces for the senior. And that one just flies right by as Kelsey Fee. And every kill is important, every point is important, but when you have somebody like Strickland at the service line, it becomes all the more important to capitalize on a good pass in order to get out of that rotation. Your passers are very thankful right now to Kelsey Bean because they don't have to face that server again. And Jones answering back with the kill. Katie Beals. You know, what's something that's so neat about her? We mentioned earlier the fact that she tore her ACL at the end of the regular season in the last match of the regular season. She was a business major, but then decided to change her major to nursing because of, I think, the attention that she received from the doctors and all throughout her rehab. And, you know, she's got to be enjoying this run as she was forced to miss postseason a year ago after that injury. And so, you know, she wants to make the most of her final moments on the court here in her senior year for Washington. She has, for four consecutive years, been a part of a 6-2 system for this Washington team. Now the future orthopedic surgeon is hoping to set the Huskies up for success. Now last season, the Huskies were fourth best in the country in hitting percentage. 311 clip. The off speed doesn't work this time. Able to get to it are the Huskies defenders and right to Strickland. What about the speed of this Nebraska offense? It's quick to the setter, and then Kelly Hunter fires one out to the pin. But Washington makes them earn it. Really tight defense here. They're able to keep that ball up with the pancake, and then before they can even set up again, Nebraska back on top of them, and Fien finishes it off. Yeah. And then follows it up with a net serve. So in the first set, we saw several serving errors for Washington. They cleaned it up, but Nebraska took the first set 25-17. Walston led the way with four kills here in this four set. It's been... A lot of Kelsey Fiend, number 14 in white. Monica Albright on the serve, and that one sails left. The only true freshman to play, or the rather she holds the school record for the most set played by a true freshman her last season out of North Aurora, Illinois. Sixteen kills for Katie Rolson. She passes that one and kills it. It's interesting, this Nebraska system She's the only pin player who plays across the back row and is involved in serve-receive. Both Fiend and Becky are substituted out in the back row. They have a well a depth of ball control and that they're able to ask their outside pin hitters to not have to focus on serve-receive, not to focus too much on defense. They haven't put too much on the plate of the youngster Becky or even the senior Fiend. She's really able to focus in on her senior year 
because they have players like Annika Albright coming across the back row and really sure things up defensively and most importantly in serve receive, really sure things up for these Nebraska Cornhuskers. Four seniors on the roster for Nebraska. And Amber on the kill. She'll be back for another year out of Killian, Nebraska. She laughs after this one. She says, not exactly how I planned it, but I will take it. And she's trained really hard in the middle to make that transition. She actually, during that time, uh, said that she found Coach Cook to be roughly motivated. It was how she described him. She said that he pushes you really hard, but when you succeed, he is the first one there to come back. Another one, but when you think about the players that have come through this Nebraska program, Jordan Larson, now Burback, and Nancy Meandering, I mean, you've got Sarah Pavin, there are so many great players that have put on a big red uniform, you can only come to expect that because he's produced 42 All-Americans. And success begets success. You know, young players across the country are just enamored by this program, and perhaps because Coach Cook not only has great players, but he's very committed to growing this sport. And he's involved in uh, what they've been able to do at the Devaney Center and rebuilding that. They now